episode in the part one, 100. Wow, 100. All right, fair, fair enough. Last episode, we took out the water barrier. So this time, who's surprised? Who is surprised? We're going for the shadow barrier. Nice, big, shadowy. Bumpkiss. Bumpkiss, bumpkiss, bumpkiss. Bumpkiss? Yeah, bumpkiss. Raving mania. I don't even know what that stuff is. The Ravy Mania or the Bumpkiss? I'm gonna go with the Ravy Mania. Okay, so here's my brilliant idea. I grab this and I go. Wah, 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 wah. Remember that part that I said I had a brilliant idea? <laughs> and it doesn't seem like it's ever getting near me. What that was? Ooh! Ooh! Ooh, I get it! I get it! I get it! First, I hope it has magic sauce inside of it. But secondly, what it may seem like a chest, it's really. Stupid aiming reticule. You, you hope for it to be as sensitive as possible. I'll be honest, that's one thing I've always had against Nintendo. Just when you're trying to be like, as stinking delicate as possible. And it's just not doing it. It's like, come on. <laughs> what? I had that. That was all brilliant and sauce. And I'm running out of arrows and running out of magic. Are you floating? I just don't know. Come on. There. Oh, I didn't need to do that. Well, it made me feel better. Yes, I like to say actually, that's good. Thank you for thinking of that. Okay, um. Get my. Thank goodness. Oh, come on. Get me. Come on. Okay, wait till I get closer again. So I'm guessing there's like a switch just right there. I really hope they give me more Magicka sauce, cause... Magicka sauce? Yes, I did just... I did just refer to it as Magicka sauce, I will admit. I'm not afraid to admit such things... about myself and my life. What? That I refer to it as Magicka sauce? <laughs> Do you, I, don't, I don't even know what you're talking about. You know, I don't either. I mean, I'm referencing multiple video games by saying the words magic. Thank you. Since I'm stinking rich now, it doesn't even matter. Look, is it the perfect height to burn your foot? Another one that knows that? That made me feel good. Okay, where my hat is at? Where my lens of truth is at? Okay, so we got long com- oh dear. That looks entertaining. That also looks entertaining. Is anyone gonna refill my magic? Because if nobody does, I'm in trouble. Seriously, I I got I got no magic. And now, not only do I have no magic, there's no way for me to do this place without magic. Which means I should stink and hurry up. Try to use it more sparingly. I think if I fall off, I have to restart. That'd just be plain rubbish. Good enough. Oh, phew, I'm, I'm cool. So I am I'm so cool. How about some magic? Magic. Thank you. Now, how about not going into any areas that require me to use anything magic related? Oh wow, five minutes? 
We can get another one in. Who's this, Impa? Hi, Dare. You got a dagger. The shadow barrier is dispelled. Please save the princess. See, everyone else has been a jerk and said, Hurry it up. I'm sitting there like... Don't see you people doing anything. You got your little magic bridge. Make another magic bridge. I want ten magic. No, I want six magic bridges. <laughs> Well, that one went a lot easier, so let's go for the next one. This episode might be a little longer, but eh, we'll be fine. What's this? Red. Red for fire. And then, wait, orange. Orange is light. No, orange is, um... How is it so hot? I don't know why, but like for the past ever, my, I feel like I got this pebble in my eyeball. I'm driving nuts. Really? Do it again. Why will you not? Fine, I'll backflip into it. We need to get over there. What's with all the rocks that are? Got the little symbol on it. Symbol of... Thanks. Ah, oh, dang it. At least I don't need magic. At least I don't need magic in this place. I mean, that's a big bonus. So I gotta get back up there, but I also gotta get on that thing. But I can't fall off. This isn't lava I can walk on. <laughs> okay, sorry. Me analyzing the situation and mentally realizing what I just said. This isn't lava I can walk on. I'm so sorry. As opposed to, you know, wa lava that we all the time walk on. <laughs> Thank you, God. <laughs> oh, come on! Look, jerk. Okay, um... I could probably hook shot over there actually. Dang you. I don't like that you have to backflip into it. I think that's stupid. Now it's brilliant. At one point, because okay, I'm on an incredibly precarious platform to start off with, and then you have to backflip into it. It's like. Come on. That's tough. But hey, that's the point of Master Quest. It's not supposed to be easy. It's supposed to be a Master Quest for Legend of Zelda Masters, which I consider myself to be of. Is that pompous of me? To look at, to look at this and say I am a Legend of Zelda Master, I'm just going to let you keep that over there. Really? I hate that. When I say die, you die. Thank you. No guilt. I feel no guilt. Does it go up or down? Down. Oh, that one goes up. Well, anyway, I need to get to the hookshot spot anyway, so... And then it goes down without telling you. What? What is this stupidity? Not really seeing how to get to that one yet. Maybe a, a platform needs to be made? Maybe. Maybe that platform needs to be gotten to. But those rocks. What's with all the rocks? Hopefully I'll get a chest soon that will help me to do something about those pesky things. Okay. Yes, magic. Thank you. Yes. Can I do anything about them? Now I got none. I legitimately got none. Very good. Okay, um... They're done. Really? Thanks. Alright, I got nothing that one. So, until we can do something about those blocks, I'm stuck. 
I'm stuck on that one. Alright, so let's go to... I'm stuck on that one. So I was just kind of like, eh, well, no. Mm, well, no. Mm, well, no. Both of those, I need something that can take care of those blocks. And so far, I got none. <laughs> it's like, just in front of the door. Oh. Ah. Quote Skyrim. Ah. Fight. I can do it. Now, Amy, that's another map. Oh, hey. How you doing? Because <laughs> I love to, he's like, oh, hey. How you doing? Can you break this thing for me? Yes, excuse me, you sir. Doink! Oh yeah, that's so much more effective. I'd really appreciate you doing that. Oh! Perfect! Wait, is that an infinite dark nut switch? I want to roll this my house. It'd be great! Just say, like, you know what, make life better? Not dark nut, what are they? These are iron knuckles. Just when you got those times where you're like, you know what would make life so much better right now? So do you know what would make life so much better right now? Dark Knight. Dang it, Dark Knight didn't come back. That would have been crazy. It's like, oh, look at that. I'm surprised. I seem to like these. Wait a second. Animation didn't happen. Oh, hey, look. I need a bomb chew. So I thought for a second, I remember that one time in the Spirit Temple, there was that one booby trap that you had to, like, hit it. And it made me rage for, like, ten minutes straight. Okay. But it did make me rage. Um. Just sitting there going, I can't believe this stupid thing is stupid and stupid. That was weird. I know my controller has some of its wires a little frayed, but that's a little much, don't you think? Oh, no, 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 Well, that appears to be spider webs. And now that my magic is full, I don't have any problem with doing this. Lie, there wasn't any sunlight here. Now, there wasn't any sunlight. This player area was like dark and spooky. Nobody appreciated its company. What? Oh, never mind. So. You. Oh! Oh, that felt good. <laughs> that felt good. Really, I just feel like I feel like such a traitor using the big round sword. I mean, logically, unless you're going up against enemies that you need your shield, it's better to go with it because it has more reach and more power. At the same time, just like thank you. But at the exact same time, I'm just like, I, I can't believe I'm using this. I'm such a traitor. I'm sorry. I don't even like two handed swords so much. I much prefer long sword kite shield. I just I'm still wearing red clothes. I'm very matching, though, if you haven't noticed. It's so fashionable. Hello. You found the golden gauntlets. You can feel even more power course into your arms. I am so styling. Okay, first. Oh, I can feel like just like the guilt trips melt away. Hmm. Wait, what am I missing here? Oh, this is like 
last one. Did, did, I, did I miss one? Is there something? Oh, hey! Nice try. That's good. He's like, there's a weird little critter going around that door. I like some more arrows at least. Oh, well, that's not bad. Oh, thank you. I'll take that. That's good. Alright, we're out of time this episode, but we did pretty good. I mean, we got we got the golden gauntlets. Oh, one thing I want to show you. I love that. Acorn Destiny. Oh, and a beer. The spirit barrier is dispelled. Hurry up, kid. You all are so inconsiderate of my needs and my neck. Guys, I'm having an emotional about that. Alright, we're gonna go. I'm gonna go show you guys something awesome. Me or Choo Choo. It's late. Actually, right now, while I'm recording this, it is 11.55. <laughs> It's also one of my last chances to record for a long time, so. Okay, watch this. Oh, I'm so manly. Throw it against the portal. So manly. Have <laughs> I said that I'm manly yet? <laughs> Pretty manly. Okay, so, really quick. Actually, I just realized I just went the long way around. We need to get out. Yep, we actually need to leave. Because, while well, yes, we got all these nice, cool little toys now, there is a rock in the outside world that we need to address. Right now. And trust me, there is an incredible prize behind it. It is so nice. And actually, see, I consider doing a video on the Great Fairies, but since they came around so often, it's just kind of like... You know those moments where you're like, I'm fairly certain. I mean, if you really want to, I put in the tags, you know, like, Din's Fire, Great Fairy, this, that. But, you know. This is probably, well, I wouldn't say the best Great Fairy. The best Great Fairy probably was in Majora's Mask, where they gave you the Great Fairy Sword, which was like the Big Round Sword, pretty much. And I felt no guilt about using that either, but I didn't have a Master Sword in that game anyway, so... Can I walk around with it now? I still can't walk around with it. It's stupid. I want to walk around and be just like, yeah, so manly. <laughs> All right, so I got a rock. Excuse me while I just. <laughs> Flip. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> Yep, this is the final. What was that on the ceiling? That's saw something. The final great fairy. So really quick, we'll just go through this little animation, and then we got what? Three more? Yeah. I went to individual ones. Each one is like, no, we need, we need something bigger and better. We got golden gun. Oh, get away! From me. You freaky lady. Nobody likes you. Your hair is weird. <laughs> Welcome, Link. I'm the great fairy of courage. Courage. I'm going to enhance your defensive power. Receive it now. Now. <laughs> so what is this, do you ask? Basically, we now have twice as much health. To sum it up, we got... It's really nice. <laughs> so you have 20 hearts before? Now we pretty much have 40. How awesome is that? Your defensive power has been enhanced. Damage inflicted by enemies will be reduced by half. No way of saying it. When battle has made you weary, please come back to see me. How about no? Your voice alone terrifies me to the core. Yeah, so now we're, you know, pretty much twice twice as much health, and we got, you know, this, and now Gandorf has a nice little new centerpiece right here. It looks pretty nice. <laughs> I like it. Alright, right, let's head back in. On the next episode, we still got three places. The fire one we were figuring out fairly quickly, though. 
Really, though. Floating castle. It's just about as impractical as it gets. <gasps> oh, this is as awesome as it gets. Seriously, though. Big scheme of things. Floating castle. A boss has a floating castle. Have anyone ever seen the movie Castle in the Sky? I forget the guy's name. It's Shariko Yoshioko. Hashari Yoshioko. Something like that. I can't remember now. I can never say Japanese names or anything. Except for Musashi Miyamoto. But it's this adorable little... Well, little. It's actually, it's pretty good. I only actually watched the first half of it. So I can't really say much. But it's a good movie. Castle in the Sky. Look it up. It's good. I recommend it. You can stamp that. Wait. You start it. Alright, let's see if we can get them both on the next episode. So, see you then.